Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular Interview Question and Answer Series. And in today's episode, the question I'm bringing you is, what do you understand by metadata? The question can also be asked like, what do you mean by Angular metadata, right? So we'll see how to answer it theoretically as well as with some code explanations that will help you win over this question. Before I give you the answer, I'll request you, if you have any queries, please ask me in the comment section. I'll try and create that video tutorial for you. Also, please do consider supporting me by subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you in advance. All right, now on to the question. What is What do you mean by Angular metadata or what is metadata in Angular? So uh, before you answer this question, take a step back and answer little background of it. Talk about that Angular framework is written in TypeScript language. TypeScript language has a concept of decorators. Using decorators, we can add uh, the annotations. We can modify or extend the class and its class members, which makes it really powerful because we can now, using metadata, using decorators, we can extend the behavior of a certain class. In Angular, we call it metadata that is used for extending the classes with the help of decorators. Talk about an example of component class. A component class has a decorator called at the rate component. It takes metadata like selector, template URL, style URL attributes, and then bind this into the template, right? So whenever we use directives, data binding, it automatically knows that where to bind it in which selector, right? and in through which template because that is all part of the metadata. Again, you can talk about one more example, which is a service. So it has a, um, a decorator called at the rate injectable, where we provide an attribute called provided in and root value. So what it would do is internally, it will bind the service, make it available throughout the application. This should be your theoretical explanation. And for the code examples, talk about open up any component or talk about component and say this is the component decorator these are the attributes that we pass which makes up the metadata and since we are passing selector as arc tutorials root in this case this would be binded here with the same right if you open your index.html you would see the same attribute directive here see so how does it know this knows it because it knows how to bind using the metadata, right? Similarly, talk about a service. A service has a, a decorator called injectable, which has an attribute provided in. Now this, because of this, we can make this available throughout the application wherever we inject it, right? So talk about these examples. This is all, uh, this is all that makes up Angular metadata for each of these features like component, service, directive, guard, right? So you see all of this. So this is all the metadata information about this particular class. And we are extending the behavior and the uh, be ex behaving, uh, extending the behavior of the class members. Okay. I hope uh, I've made it clear. Now you know what is Angular metadata. I hope you will be able to answer it and your concepts are clear. If you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Do check out the playlist links that I've put in the description box, which has a lot of many other uh, interview question answers on Angular to help you prepare for your dream job. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.